My name is Emma Coppinger. The Coconut Grove Fire, which occurred on November 28, 1942, impacted many lives as 492 people died and 166 were injured. The fire started when an employee lit a match so that he could fix a light bulb at a patron's request. The employee dropped the match and then the fire began to spread. People ran and some even crawled to the exits, but when they arrived at the exits, the doors were locked. So patrons panicked. The fire was made worse by its decorations, which were made with easily flammable materials like satin, rattan, and palms, which contributed to the deadliness of the fire. The owner of the nightclub, Bernie Walensky, is to blame for the flammable decorations and the locked doors. This fire led to many fire safety laws, which continue to impact public places today. Had this nightclub fire not grown so quickly, people would not have had to race to the exits, struggling to breathe, risking their own lives and others' lives too. Gillian Flynn's novels, similar to the Coconut Grove fire, also featured death, with much of her works devoted to figuring out who is to blame. Flynn writes psychological thrillers and mysteries in which the female protagonists grow up living in dysfunctional homes. In the novel, Sharp Objects, Camille is searching for the truth about who killed the two young girls in her hometown of Wind Gap. In the end, both readers and Camille are both shocked to learn that the murderer was Camille's teenage sister, as Camille discovers her sister has kept the young victim's teeth. In this novel, the female characters are constantly perceived as evil. Camille grows up in a dysfunctional home with a mother who did not love her, and this trauma has an effect on who she becomes and the way she lives. In this way, Gillian Flynn's dark novels explore complex and often disturbed female protagonists whose actions negatively impact the people around them. Flynn works challenge societal expectations of how women should think, feel, and behave.